coming up... Can I make this EV go further if I change the way I drive? Grace enlists the help of an EV adventurer for the definitive guide to extending range. The best thing you can always do, slow down. And as the search for the ultimate plug-in hybrid estate reaches its rain-soaked conclusion... Oh, look at that nasty puddle there. Oh! The biggest surprise is still to come. Oh, my gosh. Even though EVs have improved considerably in recent years, range anxiety, the worry that your batteries will run out before you get to your destination, never seems to get any better. Overly ambitious claims from the manufacturers don't help either. Take this Nissan LEAF E Plus, for example. This particular LEAF has a 62 kilowatt battery and should be able to do 239 miles on a full charge. But in the real world, you should expect to see closer to 210 miles. But what if there was a way of extending the range of your EV to take some of the stress out of these electric journeys? Time for a fifth gear experiment. What I want to find out today is what I can do to squeeze out every mile possible. And can I make this EV go further if I change the way I drive? I plan to drive two 10-mile runs on this private track. First, I'm going to drive round as I normally would to see how much power I use, and then later I'll see if I can improve on it. With no other cars on the road, I can ensure the only major influence on my range is my driving. I've got some tunes going on on the radio. The aircon is on as it's a nice warm day. My phone is plugged in charging and I'm driving like it's a normal everyday drive. So looking at the onboard trip computer, I've gone from 68% of battery to 61%. I'm getting 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Think of this as miles per gallon in a traditional internal combustion engine car. Hmm, so I need to figure out a better way of saving my power. Luckily, I have the perfect chap to help me. Chris Ramsey from Plugin Adventures. In 2017, he entered his Nissan LEAF into the 10,000 mile Mongol rally. Navigating through 20 countries meant he had to learn techniques to squeeze out every last drop of battery power. And he's agreed to give me his top five tips for extending EV range. Energy efficient tires, A-rated tires can make a big difference in, in range. And that and then comes to the actual tire pressures, inflating your tires to the manufactured rated pressure. Again, it's a simple thing but it does make a big difference. So wheels and tyres are important then, what else? Electric vehicles have regenerative braking systems and all that really means is when you are slowing down in the car, kinetic energy is being produced and it's being stored back into the battery. If you're driving on the motorway, I would say take the regenerative braking system off because in a motorway situation, you're wanting to maintain your speed as much as you can. Use the cruise control because as much as we like to hold the throttle ourselves, cars can do it so much better. That will keep your speed at a constant. Smooth acceleration, not hard on the throttle because that just uses more energy on the battery. If you have to brake in a situation, then again, you're having to put the fill on the throttle and use more energy. So it's all about being smooth and nice steady. And smooth. Yeah. yeah. People do say, well, I'll turn the air conditioning off. I'll turn the heating off because that uses too much power in an electric vehicle. These new vehicles, they're so efficient. The best thing you can always do, slow down. Right, let's put all that into practice and drive the same route to see if I can improve on the 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour that I originally achieved. So like Chris said, I've checked the tyres and the tyre pressures, I've turned the cruise control on and the regenerative brakes off, but one of the main things I'm trying to do is just be steady with my acceleration, no harsh braking and coast where I can, as this will help maintain the momentum of the car. 
smooth and steady around this corner. Now, don't get me wrong, it is quite tempting to put your foot down when you come out of a corner, but actually, by being steady, looking ahead and planning your acceleration when you see the corners, it's all rather relaxing to drive like this. I can see the miles per kilowatt hour are fluctuating a little bit, but it's well up than what it was on the last run. After that run, I've done just over 10 miles again like last time, but I've used only 6% of battery and improved the miles per kilowatt hour by a huge 40% to 4.1. So actually, the range has been extended quite a lot just from doing those tips that Chris recommended. My main takeaway from today is that we as drivers can extend range for free just by being a bit smoother on the acceleration and braking can improve things dramatically and take a bit of the anxiety out of EV ownership.